Hello everyone and welcome to the October plan with me video. I'm going to get through as much of this as I can before my mom calls me because I'm waiting on her call back. But anyway, here we have my quilted caviar leather agenda from Cloth and Paper. This is in the size A5. This is the only planner that I use that I own that I have. And I also have here my Smart Fit pen case. This is actually a gift, well, part of a gift that I got. And I'll link it down below. I don't think I remember linking this ever. If I haven't, I will start doing that. As you can see, I only have my Inkjoy paper made in the size 1.0 in here. Here's why, these are hard to find. So when you find them, you love them and you want to use them, but you wanna save them. So that's why I bought two packs. Anyway, the other pen that I do thoroughly enjoy is the Bic Gelosity in the 0 0.7. I noticed that the uh, Gelosity pens, I mean, they finish quickly. I don't know what it is. And if I use this in a 1.0, I am, basically writing with a Sharpie. So I don't really use that one in a 1.0, but these, I do love how they look on my inserts in the 1.0. Clips here, these are from Sessa V in the gunmetal. I don't think that's what it's called on the site, but that's how I remember them. I have my Sarasa Dry that I rarely use because honestly, I keep forgetting that I need to buy a refill. And then I have my mild liners here. I mainly use my mild liners for my savings challenge. I don't really keep a lot of color in my planner. That's something that maybe I should look into for the new year, but I don't want it to look like I am trying so hard to use color when that's just not who I am as a person. More than likely, you'll see me using the uh, mild gray out of these. I have my box of supplies. I am not ashamed to say that I do not have some pretty cute organized station. I've thought about it. I have the space to do it, but I haven't put the energy into doing it. But anyway, my laptop over here, my notes on the side, and we are just going to clear out what we have in here. And I want to talk to you as I'm doing this. So if it gets really deep and emotional, I'm not gonna apologize because this is just really how I'm feeling at the moment. So if you haven't seen a better layout of my planner, um, I will go ahead and put in the cards the September plan with me. I did a close up of the wear and tear so far and it's been a few years since I have um, owned this planner. So I think that that video uh, will definitely give you the close-ups that you need. Here in the pocket, I don't think I'm going to be taking anything out as of yet. If anything, I should be adding more dots. But for now, we're just going to leave this. We're worried about the bones first and then we'll go back for anything else. So am I taking any of this out? No. Let me talk to you. Oh, <laughs> here are my memo sticky notes. Let me move that to the side. Don't know how it got in between the dividers. These dividers are from cloth and paper. I'm just pulling them out and I need to wipe them down, but I'm not going to spend all that time doing that right now because we've got things to do. You're busy, I'm busy, we've got, we've got things. If you haven't seen this, these are some of the workouts that I wanted to do in September, which I did do and didn't. They can still carry over to the next month. So you can screenshot that or, I don't know, not. For the month of October, let me just say that this is my favorite month. It is my birthday month. Vuv Clico has an event every year. I wanna say it's in New York and I've never been, but I wanted to mimic that event for my birthday when the pandemic happened, but I didn't want it to look very cheap and cliche and very, I just didn't want it to look bad. It turned into this backyard picnic slash wine thing and my friends enjoyed it so much that two of them are getting married. There's a whole wedding coming out of my birthday soiree. And I think that that is so awesome. I love that for them. So I am really excited that I actually have friends that I've known the just about same amount of time and they never cross paths when, when really, really, 
you two should have because they're both in Greek letter organizations. I mean, they've had parties together, I'm sure, or at least cross paths, but no one ever introduced them. So anyway, I have retired that birthday soiree. I've done it for two years. And this year, I just feel like doing something else, something that I haven't done in so long. And it always was a staple for my birthdays when I was in college because, I mean, it was easy to do. So I'm going to do that. And of course, you will see that. Look at this. This literally never stood a chance. My AM PM routine. And maybe if I had it together, I wouldn't be where I am now. You know, just stressed. So I'm not going to touch these at the moment. If anything, I might do a B-roll just to clean it up, clear it out. But we need to move this to the side and get our dividers as I continue to ramble on. Okay, so we have the dividers. Anyway, so this year I'm doing things a little bit differently. I'm in a place where I am finding my consistency again. I need to reintroduce myself to my feminine side. And I think that this year I'm, and when I say this year, I mean starting from my birthday, not January, 2023. So I definitely do consider my birthday my new year. And that's why I'm, talking to you like this. For my birth month, I do a little bit of reflection and just kind of ask myself those hard questions that maybe you don't want to ask yourself, but you need to so that you know that you're on task to reach those goals that you set for yourself. And if you didn't make any goals, maybe you just have something that you've always wanted to do or um, you had an idea that hasn't come to light yet, and maybe this is your time to really bring it to life. Yeah, I feel like I'm rambling, but let me do some more of this and I'll be right back. That's really the end of it. I feel like I just opened this, wow. Anywho, three months three months and I'm not a basketball wife like what I haven't married anybody in the NBA yet like what is this just jokes guys just jokes my house is still settling it's been years and the house still settles and I hear all the nail pops all the time here we are I don't know why I close the rings when I need to write on this I didn't bother with any sticky notes this time because I needed a lot of space to talk about all of the things. Let me jot down some questions. This is the 0 0.7, but anyway. Ooh, we're getting deep. We're getting deep. So I've written down four questions that came to mind earlier today. And there we go. So here are the questions that I asked myself earlier today. And did I need a tissue? Maybe, maybe. Where am I in life? When I asked this question, I was just thinking overall, like, am I, am I in a place of complacency? Am I in a place of growth and understanding? Am I in a place of happiness? Am I like, where am I in life? Right now I'm in a place of reconstruction, rebuilding, refocusing, revision, just, fixing it. And I think that's okay. I have come to terms with the fact that that's where I am. And that's my answer. Would my younger self be proud of me? Somewhat. I think that little girl from Brooklyn would be happy to know that we did in fact move uh, to a place that I wanted to move to. I mean, it's not back in New York, but I'm in a happy medium. And I always considered Georgia to be that between New York and Florida. I think that my younger self would be surprised to know what I do for a living, but kind of sad for me because of all that I have uh, endured from then until now. And then knowing that I'm still not who I envision myself to be. 
So I think my younger self would have mixed emotions about who I've become, but still proud of me to know that I'm still trying. Uh, why haven't my dreams come true yet? I had a long stint of complacency at my previous job. And even one year of being complacent can really throw you off kilter for a couple of years. So imagine working somewhere almost six years, uh, what that did to me. Just losing self in the midst of that and feeling very low. I mean, if you've watched those vlogs, you know I was looking a mess, feeling a mess. It was a mess. My dreams were not so far out of reach, but they weren't within reach either. I still had them in the back of my mind, but I wasn't really doing anything to achieve them. In that time, I did buy a home and I, I felt really accomplished by doing that. But being a homeowner is really stressful. So that is a stress in itself. <sighs> the The roadblocks of life plus complacency, I would think are the reasons why my dreams haven't come true yet. And how can I make my dreams come true? I can have them in the forefront of my mind instead of in the back of my mind. That's for sure. I can also just think weekly, maybe not daily, what I can do to better my situation so that I'm closer to my goal. Because honestly, if I think about it like that, I'm going to have wrinkles by tomorrow morning. So we got to work on a weekly basis. What can I do this week? to help me get closer to my goal versus today because not even two of my work days are the same. So I can't really go off the daily thing, but I would have to go off a weekly situation. So these are some questions that I ask myself as I enter my birth month. And I just wanted to share that with you in hopes that maybe these are things that you've probably been avoiding or thinking about but haven't really put pen to paper. So hopefully that helps someone really reflect on how life is lifing. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, let's go ahead and do we wanna do the quote first or the dates first? What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts? Okay, I'm back. So my mom did end up calling me, so while I was in and out of the call with her. I decided to go ahead and do my sticky notes. So here we are. This is what we have. So the quote that I chose for this month, it really is like the cousin, first cousin, or the middle child to the quote that I have for the year. Maybe not this year, maybe it was last year. But anyway, this is the quote that I chose. If you don't make the time to work on creating the life you want, you're eventually going to be forced to spend a lot of time dealing with a life you don't want. So this one kind of goes back to how I've been feeling about my birthday month, reflecting and everything, and just reminding myself of who I want to be and who I believe myself to be and how I can get to that point. With that comes this my YouTube videos. Okay, every month I change my mind, I go back to it, I think about it again, and do I even want to do this? No, because I have to hold myself accountable. But I want to end the year as strong as I started it, and that means I have to really be really aggressive with my postings. So these are the videos I would hope to have up this month. Don't know how it's going to happen, but guess what? We're doing it. I have my October plan with me, which you're currently seeing, my underwriting reflection, which I haven't really gone through the footage that I'm using for that. Part two and part three of the September budget. I know what month we're in. I know, but hear me out. There was a third paycheck, so I had to wait. Uh, then I have a sweaty Saturday. I want to give you some updates. Hopefully I'll have a couple recipes in there too. Budget with me part one and part two for October and a travel plan with me. The travel plan with me that you've been waiting on. I apologize. I also have Sills Crib. We have to talk about that couch that you saw in the Dinner on Blanc video, of course. Two Day in the Life videos. Where have they been? Not on this channel. So I need to do those pack with me and where I'm going. So that brings us to the next thing. 
the late days and events. So I'm going to go ahead and get some of this on paper and then we'll, we'll get to this, but I am tired of showing you this and I know you're tired of seeing it. So I'm just going to add a little B-roll while I do this. I'm going to be playing my manifestation song. You won't hear it and no, I'm not sharing it because you have to find a song that works for you and the life that you are trying to live or a song that resonates with you and your future self. So I'm keeping mine to myself because it's mine. And if it's somebody else's, we won't know because we're not sharing it, right? And then we'll talk about the late days and events. could scream and maybe I did look of course I have a mistake of course I do <gasps> I am ticked off I'm ticked ticked off about it I'm ticked off about it but it's here we did it we did it so annoying all right Let's move this up. I'm just gonna put UND Reflect. September two and three, budget with me. And then I'm gonna put Sweaty Saturday update and budget with me one, two. Then I have a travel. Then we have Sue's Crib. I'm trying to figure out what series I'm going to do later on this year. I really enjoyed my Black History Month series, even though it kind of was not that great towards the end to me, but I really enjoyed doing that. I think I really need to have an idea of what I would do for the holidays because I think that would be kind of cool. But anyway, pack with me. It looks like plan with me, but I'm telling you it's pack with me. This one is a vlog. That has a lot of videos, but the way that I know very well, I'm well aware that you are owed far more than these 12 videos, but we're gonna work with what we got and let's go ahead and talk late days. Here you can see, come on now, focus. Photo shoot on the second and can we, bug bites from May and July. Can we just be done, please? Okay, so as you can see, I have a photo shoot on the second. I have all of my late days. This is the best I've ever done with my late days. One full week working nine to five thirty, and then the following Tuesday nine to five thirty. If you're new here, the late days are for the Southern office so that we can help assist with the home office in another region. We end up working one hour later than our usual schedule just so that we can cover everything. Then my birthday is on the 19th. I am aware of the Zodiacs, but don't quiz me on them because I don't know. I can tell you about me and here's my thing. I'm a Libra. I am on the cusp of Libra and Scorpio. Um, I found out that I have a lot of Scorpio in my chart. That doesn't mean anything to me, but okay. Also, don't ask me about things rising and falling, suns and moons and all of that. I don't know. I have my hair appointment on the 22nd. I'm trying to figure out if I'm doing a touch up to the front or redoing all of my braids. But anyway, I have something with Lisa on the 23rd. She told me to be available and I'm excited about it. And then I'm celebrating my birthday on the 19th and the 25th through the 30th because why not? So let's hope for the best. Do I have space for all these days? <laughs> oh, two, oh, three, oh, four, oh, five, oh, six, oh, seven. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Cause one thing about it, I'm gonna make room for my birthday, so. Let's do it like this. How we looking? We're looking pretty good. And you know who shoots my birthday pictures. Come on now, with Kay, obviously. You know, if I was really thinking about space, I would have just done one line, 03 to 07, but. <laughs> 
we are here now, aren't we? When did I become this person that can't make a heart right? Like, mm, I used to be a heart drawing queen. Okay, there we go. There we go. Don't embarrass me. All right. So for the other days, I'm just going to do a memo. I just had, oh, there they are. Quick drying. Well, this, this pen isn't quick drying. I'm actually using the 0 0.7 on this particular insert. But let's go ahead and add in the other days. So we have hair on the 22nd, hair appointment. Even though I could put braiding appointment, but that's really nobody's business, just ours. And then I'm gonna put out with Lisa, 25th to the 30th. What am I gonna put? I'm just gonna put Right. It's gonna be nice. Okay, yeah, my hearts are looking real cartoony. And I don't think I like it. But anyway, let's put this here. And this way, if I'm using the post-it, I can add more if other things come up, which they shouldn't, but I don't want it to cover my birthday. What is this? Hmm, I mean, Kevin, Kevin, Kevin. I mean, you're cool and all, but mm, we've never met. So I feel like I can, I can block you. There's a little, I like it. I, I can rock with it. I can lean with it. I can rock with it. I'm into this. I like this. Let's flip it over. To all of my returnees, this is bills, bills, and more bills. But I'm also going to document my gym visits. So let's go ahead. And it will also give me a reason to use the Petite Dots and Nutmeg from Sweet Caress. If you haven't seen them up close, let me show you. A beaut, a beaut. And I haven't really been using them, obviously, so this is a reason for me to use them. I am going to put which gym I went to. So, we did go on the first, and we went to our favorite LA Fitness. This one is kind of hard to get off. Let's try a different one. Okay, there it is, on the first. I also went on the, I didn't go on Sunday because I had the shoot, so not because I was trying to miss out on the burn, on the pain at the gym. Oh my gosh, why can't I get this off? No, seriously, seriously. I think I just had a, a weird batch. But this is so old, I couldn't even tell you, like, I couldn't tell you what happened here, honestly. That I'm pulling up the actual paper. Okay, let's try at the top. Oh, it's still happening. Cut the cameras. Okay, order is restored. I went ahead and put in the two on Saturday with Charlita and Monday morning at 5.30 a.m. On the back, I'm not putting anything right now because I want to save this for the pack with me. Next, on my inbox. Do people still do inboxes? Let me know. I do wanna use mine. What's on the back? <laughs> I'm supposed to be taking my measurements. Uh, Not right now. What am I doing with my inbox? This particular week. And we're sticking to it, okay? We're not just writing stuff down to be writing it down, wasting ink, wasting time. We are checking things off. So I'm just going to call this my checklist. 3 a.m. Mm -mm. <laughs> Let me not put 3 a.m. I'm just gonna put three morning workouts. And then I'm also going to put post two videos. I'm aiming for three, but if I do two, I won't feel bad about it. I'm also going to say here that I need to finalize outfits for the trip. 
And what else do I need to do? That reminds me, I have another insert. So this is not going to be for the travel related stuff. This is going to be for something else. I don't know what yet, but I have another insert. I'm going to use my Cornell insert. It's on the other side of this, but I'm going to use this insert for the trip. And we'll see what this turns into. But as of right now, I'm not going to use it for that. I need to declutter the pantry and junk drawer. If my kitchen is not organized, I don't feel motivated to try new recipes and make the videos that I know my friends on Instagram enjoy watching. So it inspires me to inspire them, to inspire myself. So I need a cleaner space, not clean space. I need a cleaner space. Something else is happening this week. Ooh, we're going, oh, I didn't put it on here. I didn't put it on here, but I can squeeze it in. And we are going to deeper ATL. So I'm wondering where that footage is gonna go. It's gonna be phone footage. So if you're not following me on Instagram, you might not see what that event is. Anywho. I'm not going to fill this up. Let me do my time reporting. That's for any time I'm not really actively doing. We'll talk about it in a in a work video. We'll talk about it. Okay. I'm gonna leave it at that. I don't wanna overwhelm myself, but that's what we have. Yeah, so let's do that and put it in for October. Wow, 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 wow. There we have it. This is so crazy. This is really, wow. So we have the inbox and we have our quote from Kevin. We have our important dates and then we added deeper ATL because that is an event that I already have a ticket for. Hair appointment, outing with Lisa, or out with Lisa is what I have here. Celebrate. And then we have LA Fitness. Hoping to see like 20. Can I get 20 days in if I'm gonna be gone a lot? I'm working out on my birthday, that's not a question. Eight, 12. Okay, so if I go 15 times this month, I will be okay. I turned down the brightness a little bit just so that you can take a look. This section has been through so much and not enough all at the same time. Like, why do I have this? Literally packing for Jamaica. Okay, cleaning routine. Um, I'm just going through to see if there's anything that I need to take out. I have one. Favorite insert, favorite insert, task planner inserts, favorites. It has changed, what is that? It has changed a little bit, but task planner inserts are definitely a staple in my planner. I am a list kind of girl. I will make a list in a minute. Spring bucket list. I didn't do any baking. So I should probably say do this for the holidays. Holiday plans. What else? Holiday plans, look at you getting the inside scoop. Ooh, I know exactly what to do with this. So here's what the spring bucket list looked like. And I did two things, get serious. Like, come on now. Living room, I started making this list so that when I finish downstairs, then I won't have to think about what everything is. This is something that I enjoy having in my planner. It's my car maintenance list. So when I'm doing my budget and I'm trying to figure out, oh, what do I need? What has to get done for all four? So maybe 350 at this point, oil change. That's on the low end. That is the low. But I keep my tire sizes, even though you can look on the side of your tire, and when I say the side, I mean when you're standing in front of your tire or squatting in front of your tire, your tire size is on it. So in case you didn't know, now you know. But I keep the sizes here just in case. And this is an old planner supplies list, but I said I would do it over. 
so I'll be working on that. Thank you, Jacqueline. Finest Wine Plans 29, I believe, are the numbers on the end of her handle on Instagram. Reminded me that I need to tighten up because I don't have my 2023 planner set up even thought about. Uh, here's my bar cart list. You know we've been dealing with this bar cart for two years and still fragrances. Some that I have purchased, want to repurchase. Some that I haven't tried in a full bottle but I've tried samples of and enjoyed them thoroughly. I did blind buy the Armoff Club de Nuit Intense and it is a lot of powdery rose. So I cannot, will not be wearing that often. So I do wear it every now and again, but not so much because mm -mm, it's not, it's not, no. <laughs> Here is the list of plans that are in my home or have been in my home. And if I repurchase them because maybe they didn't last, this will be the name of them. They're all named after characters from The Blacklist because my show is my show, okay? And just to finish it out in this section, my travel list, 17 countries, and I do have a few places on my wish list. You would think that I would have more countries here, and I do. I just haven't looked at this in forever. So, uh, yeah. My wish list is as long as the list of countries in the world. So, minus a couple, but we don't have to talk about them. And here we are revisiting the goals yet again. Pay off a debt, goal weight, which be realistic. Will I reach my goal weight? No. Will I be consistent enough to see that my goal weight can be reached next year? Definitely. Increased income, I am definitely going to talk about that in the next Budget With Me video. We are getting aggressive. Earn CPCU, we've talked about that. That is something that is not necessarily on the back burner, but it's getting revamped to further my goals in the industry that I'm in. And then two trips, I went to Jamaica twice. And as most of you know, my word of the year is perseverance. And again, we revisit the quote. We are in the home stretch of 2022. So let's go ahead and go over my quote yet again. The best versions of ourselves don't come out when everything is going amazing. The best versions of ourselves come out in the midst of trial because that's where we grow. That's where our real substance comes out. That's where you find the person you were always meant to be, the person who was there all along.